We are back today on another episode of Pack Attack. And for once, I feel like I don't really have anything extra to say today, so we can just hurry up and get things done. Last episode is up to 23 likes, so that means that today we're starting out with 2,300 stubs going towards our packs after the game today. So as always, guys, if you want to add 100 stubs towards the next episode, all on your own, all you gotta do is hit that like button each like is worth a hundred stubs i almost said a thousand could you imagine i'd go bankrupt we also managed to add another 9263 stubs to the bank bringing us back up now to 93714 and i really hope i don't miss another flash sale assuming there'll even be another flash sale i still can't believe i missed the last one i guess i should mention now that acuna is back to not being supercharged we're still keeping him in the lineup i just moved him to dh now that his fielding went back down to 66 so we have mookie back out and right seager back at second now acuna dhing but we're all good now to go ahead and get into things we are 66 and 24 and i feel like that's just a lie i have not been playing good enough to be 66 and 24 lately a 725 rating we gotta build on that we gotta have a good game i gotta hit today and if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet and you enjoy today's video go ahead and feel free to hit that subscribe button we've got Strowman on the mound ready to go and he's got a full parallel four team except for one parallel five and one not paralleled at all with Shohei on the mound who I've been having trouble hitting I feel like whenever I face him lately so this will be fun 202 and 177 not the highest winning percentage but anybody who's got that many games played is probably relatively good at the game oh and he's not swinging at that that's not a good sign and he is swinging at that killabrew yellow throw oh yeah abreu's got it he's handling it thought that was gonna get through but killer had other plans he's not on this team for his defense but uh so far i guess he's not on this team for his offense either he's got to get that bat going i don't have a hit with him yet Oh, nice. Sinker up and away gets him behind it. Our first punch out. Mm, he did turn on that inside sinker, which I'm not a fan of, but he didn't hit it well. It's a pretty solid, quick 1-2-3 inning to start. I'm interested to see how my hitting feels today, because I, I played a game the other day for a video, actually. And I faced John Donaldson, but I actually saw him pretty well, comparatively. And, yep, I'm just staying hot. Laid on the fastball right there for me. The one spot you gotta take away when you got an outlier pitcher on the mound. No way he got me with that. Man, 3-2 count, he throws a splitter right down the middle, and I was sitting heat. See, that? that's just the kind of mistakes I've been making at the plate. Like, people leave something right over the middle, and I can't adjust. And then that pitch I should never be late on. That's the one pitch you should be taking away. And then the cutter got me, because it didn't break as much as I thought. Great start. I'm really looking solid. This should be an out. Ellie's going to handle that. I really don't know what it is, man, because I feel like I've broken out of my slump that I had been in for a while in every game mode besides pack attack. Like, everything else I'm playing on my own for a video, I've been hitting pretty solid. And Ellie, really, with your fielding, you're not making that play? Oh, that cannot drop in. Okay, Killbrew's there. Another punch out on that up and away sinker. That seems to be working to lefties here. Wow, dude, I, I don't have it at all. Again, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a mental block, if it's something different on this account somehow but i swear everything else i've been playing lately i've been hitting pretty fine and then i i hop over to pack attack and i can't touch the ball oh my god he can't keep getting away with this adjust there's three punch outs on hanging splitters oh my god i really don't know man i i don't know I mean, making weak contact and making bad swings is one thing, but to strike out in five out of six at-bats to start a game is a completely different level. 
Okay, slurve worked even though it ended up in the only spot it could have ended up in the zone. Ooh, we're good though. I think that's both at bats. I've gone outside cutter to Acuna and he's actually made a pretty decent swing. So maybe I don't throw that pitch much anymore. Kill a prude, no, he can't get a hit. Hang a slurve and make a relatively decent swing and it's just a weak chopper. Oh my God, turn on it. Why, well, I know why I'm late. It's because he's thrown so many cutters that I've been way out in front on, so I'm trying to slow the bat down a bit, and then that's when he goes with the fastball. Well, there we go. I'm being no hit one time through the order. What's new? Okay, we're. I mean, we're getting some punch outs here, which isn't really something Strowman does all the time. Okay, a rollover. Let's not make another error, Ellie. I mean, look, neither of us can hit. The only reason we don't have dueling perfect games is because of an error I made in the field. He's definitely helping me out, and this could be one of those games where all it takes is like one or two good swings, and you can win two to one or two to nothing. I even, I wait back so long, and I'm still early. Okay, Ellie. There's one of our good swings. That's going to go into the fountain. It's another one for Ellie. I feel like he's been hitting for some power lately. First hit of the game is the first run of the game for either side. And as once again, I wait back forever on a 91 mile an hour pitch and I'm still early. God, okay. Well, waiting for the cutter that time, and that's the at-bat he decides to throw nothing but the heat. But we have the lead, and that might be all it takes. We can't let the typical thing happen, though, that usually happens when you finally take the lead after a stalemate through the first half of the game. We can't just immediately give it up. Or... Here's a thought, how about we immediately hang a splitter and let him get his first hit of the game? All right, that one stayed in the zone. I didn't even want it to, but pitch keeps getting him one way or another. Oh, that one couldn't have stayed in the zone too? It was right there. Okay, I guess we'll take it, but that's pretty dangerous too for him to just get under that. Oh, what a spot on the backdoor cutter. The hit doesn't come around to score. We still have a lead. Who wants to make another good swing? Yeah, Acuna is going to be the one to make a go another good swing. All right, he doesn't need to be supercharged to hit it out anymore. Finally turned on that inside fastball and we have a 2-0 lead. I really think at this point, he can throw nothing but the cutter inside the lefties and he will get me out every single time. Like that time I finally waited back and I was under it and late. No, I didn't miss that. Tell me how I missed that. I, I definitely fouled. No, I didn't move the PCI. I guess that's the problem. Stayed right in the middle. Oh my God. Go, he's going back to that. I guess he forgot that works. Oh my God. You're kidding me that he just took that. Where did that at bat come from? He hasn't had that great of an eye up until now. And then he was taking the pitches he took there and that one to end it. How do you lay off of that? On a 3-2 count, and now he's actually going to put something together. He turns on it. Okay. Get the bullpen up. Strowman's crumbling quick. Dude, this is a new person. This is a completely new player. Dude, on a 1-2? And then we missed that spot. Strowman, dude. Okay. He tried again to miss the spot, but kind of made it so that he couldn't. That should be two. Got him to roll over on an outside sinker and we get out of it to keep it scoreless. That inning scared me though. I'm not gonna lie. We either need more runs or we need to figure something new out to shut him down again. Cause if he keeps putting up at bats like that, he's gonna make this comeback. I, I thought I could lay off of that if he left it far enough down, but I guess I'm just swinging at that splitter today. Hey, there we go. A hit that's not a home run. See if we can build something here. Finally make him work. Well, I guess he always works out of the stretch, doesn't he? 
Okay, that's that's a good swing. I was actually late. I've been early on that pitch every time, and then all of a sudden I'm late and have the PCI sitting right in the middle. I might have gotten that. I might have gotten that. Abreu Oppo, he did. It's been a while since he's done something big like that, but that is a huge swing, a 4-0 lead. Oh my god, that's not going to go. That's a perfect swing at the top of the zone. It is going to go. Seager's not going to be quiet today. Dude, I have no idea how I hit that. I never get up and hit that kind of pitch. I mean, I guess because it's Seager. He's the only one that I'm going to make that kind of swing with. Oh, and I'm going to roll over on that one. But I asked myself for a little bit more insurance. And I put up three more runs that inning. I guess it just took me a little while to get going, but now we're going. Okay. Okay! Shut out intact! Don't know where that perfect swing came from because he has not been hitting that pitch at all today. Guess he was finally just sitting on it. I almost feel bad. I mean, he, he finally was going to do something good, make a good swing, and I just took it away from him. That's too good. Ooh. Oh my god, I keep making yellow throws with Killebrew, and Abreu keeps bailing me out. Alright, I mean, I can't strike him out anymore, but as long as we're getting outs, we're good. That's seven scoreless for Strowman. I don't really know why you'd stick with Otani here. Like, you've given up five runs. He's gotta, gotta be relatively tired by this point. And I'm not gonna complain about it, because even Adley's making good swings now. Ooh, that's a really good spot on a 3-2 count. That's actually kind of the same pitch he threw to Abreu on a 3-2 count when I hit it out. So I don't know why I wasn't ready for it there. Oh my god, I... <laughs> I was swinging at it because it looked like it was going to break back in the zone, and it did horizontally, but it was low. Man, dude, I really feel like I had a chance to put the nail in the coffin there when Adley got on, and then I just did terrible. All right, well, I don't really know what we're doing here. He got out of that last inning, and now we've been sitting on the pause menu for like three and a half minutes. Is he really just going to let this go, or do I have a feeling he's going to come back with like two seconds left? I mean, I I'm not going to hesitate if it hits that double zeros. I'm going to go ahead and win this game early. It's just, I don't like when games end this way but wh what are you doing pausing and then just walking away thanks for the win i mean realistically i was gonna wrap that one up anyway i don't know I, I guess it really doesn't matter a win's a win and we need those because i haven't been getting as many as i need we get up to 753 now after that one so solid progress after dipping below 700 Ooh, Strowman gets up to four from that game. I didn't even realize he was that close. Man, our uh, our multiplier is going to be going crazy here today. We're going to be up over one and a half. And you know what? For as much as I was saying that I was doing bad early, and I was doing bad early, that was a pretty good game. Five runs. After starting out struggling, we made some adjustments. I put some good swings on the ball. Four bombs. I don't think you can say that's a bad day at the plate. So let's add it all up and see just how good it was the hitting today is gonna make 7300 stubs over on the mound stroman's big day is gonna give us 10,700. the bonus category is gonna tack on an extra 6053 and now we're up to a two game winning streak and we have four parallel ones eight twos four threes and five fours for a multiplier now of times 1.52 we're over a one and a half times multiplier and that's all gonna come together to give us 36,561 stubs a massive amount of endgame stubs there, and this is what we get out of it. And man, that off-camera Ellie De La Cruz poll from a couple months ago is finally running out. But we have 14 show packs. One of them was a 10-pack bundle. So we get that silver topper and then two diamond duo packs. So let's get things going here. Let's start with that silver. It would have been a good sign if it wasn't a silver, but a free agent. I don't know, man. That's not a... Uh, doesn't make me feel good about what we're going to see out of the rest of these 
these packs, but we got 14 show packs. Now 13 more chances to see a chase pack fly out. And I, I really just, I want one so bad because it's been so long. I guess we'll just have to settle for pulling a diamond. Who's this gonna be? It's a purple. That's what I figured, but we can sell it unless it's like a Josh Hader or something, then that'd be a decent pull. Who do we got? Is that Yoshida? But he'll sell for at least 3,000, so that's good for the stub bank. Can always use more stub bank stubs for whenever the next flash sale is, and hopefully I don't miss it. We've pulled either a gold or a diamond out of these first three show packs. It's kind of crazy. What's going on here? Did they change something? That makes me feel like either the rest of these packs are going to be insanely lucky or insanely unlucky because we already used up the luck, and that's not a good sign already four free agents three of them commons oh man yeah now we're falling into it all right we're already halfway through here and now these are the real packs these are show packs here all right gold unlockable silver it's a little bit better we're getting back i just man i can't even explain how much i want to see that chase pack we have not i i seriously don't think that we've opened up a chase pack like a traditional chase pack since joe mauer was the player all the way back in season two like it's been that long since i've either just pulled a chase pack or bought something that had a normal chase pack because we did pull ellie but that was out of a special flash sale chase pack that wasn't just a normal one and i don't know it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting one today but we do manage to sneak one more gold out of the second to last pack and the last pack's gonna get Give us a silver i mean that that was a decent 14 packs for the stub bank but now we have two shots at the duo players paul de young we already have robertson and then i guess whoever else but come on man show me some more pack luck today i don't want to go home empty-handed here but it's a silver it's okay that just means that we're saving it all for this last one right right game come on ah oh. 275s to round things off out of those two duo packs. That's a rough ending, but all in all, it was a pretty good episode. I mean, right now in pack attack and for a while now, we've been pretty much solely focused on winning and anything we can pull is just a bonus. We still got some work to do. We still got a long ways to go, but that was a step in the right direction. The only thing we got to check off the box for is facing John Donaldson in the next episode because you know what's going to happen and then not getting absolutely shut down by him. If I can do that, then we might well and truly be back. But that is going to do it for today's episode of Pack Attack. Remember, if you want to add 100 stubs towards the next one, just hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, all you got to do is scroll down a little bit hit that subscribe button, and then you can see the rest of Pack Attack. I think we're going to hit 100 episodes this year, guys. But thanks for watching today, guys. Thanks for stopping by for this one, and I will see you next time.